is the Rimi fiber that I dyed. And it's actually a lot darker than what the camera is showing. But I'm it! You twisted. This is a plant fiber. So as you can see. color really really came through well and I kind of have to fluff the fiber this is a plant fiber and some of it um, still didn't really come out you know either you know strong colored or pink but that's okay because you know it's not really meant to artistic there we go. There we go. and I'll show you the yellow came out really nice and fluffy very vibrant. I might actually do a full video as to how this came to be because Remy is a plant fiber and it's really really thin and I think the micron count is more shorter than bamboo. So that was Remy. And this is my Ashland Bay White Chevier Wool. And technically, being white was rather off-white. But as you can tell also, the dried color really came out nice. And it didn't felt, at least I don't think, not in certain spots. Um, I think it mostly felt it around the areas where I had a, uh, a rubber band in order to keep it all together from falling around and it is I want to say hulkish I mean green purple green purple and it's gone all the way straight through and if anyone wants to take the request on spinning it, uh, see how it comes out when I'm done with that. Australian Merino, 27 to 24 Micronics, and look at this coloring! Oh my god, and it feels so fabulous. And the problem with them the, uh, this patch, this batch of Merino, is that it didn't soak the soda ash all the way through so I've got like a few white spots where it had become resistant to the dye despite but I had to pull it out because it was uh, already like 20 minutes to a half an hour of soaking so but you know a few white spots here a few white spots there but it's the nature of the beast God, this feels so gorgeous. Bamboo! And this is my bamboo. Um, looks really extremely stringy and tight. The color is like super vibrant. However, I've noticed, if I can find my end, that, oh, this gorgeous silkiness. There we go. That in some spots, it did not seep all the way through. But that's okay. So, this was a test of a particular soda ash tie-dye, and I have to actually count it as a success, except for one itty bitty bitty issue, and I will show that in a few minutes. I did this bamboo fiber um, with the dye after it had been... Uh, mixed and activated for 24 hours and as you can see it um, it rinsed out almost completely in certain spots uh, didn't stay on as well 
and it didn't cling. Now, perhaps it was because I should have probably soaked it, maybe the soda ash longer, maybe it would have helped, but um, this has more of a, much of a watercolor kind of thing going on because I wanted to try to go for pink, so I kept the soda ash more in. But, uh, yeah, after 24 hours, the, uh, the viscosity, the ability to cling to fabric seems to disappear on it. And I might just make a blog post out of this.